In this video, we're going to see if we can add in some of these little specs to show you how to do those. Now, I want you to analyze the specs first. You always have to do that because you don't want to just assume that the specs are doing something when they're not. In this case, I believe that the specs are inherently red, and as they approach the center, they become darker. Now, sometimes that darkness has a little highlight on it because maybe there's some type of dimension to it. So these little specs are red blobs with black blobs in the middle and then little white highlights every now and then. So to do these, I'm going to definitely do them on another layer. So I'm going to add a texture dot layer. And I'm just using that word because that's what it makes sense for. All right, now I'm going to take my brush here and I'm going to use that same brush I made the texture with earlier, but I'm going to adjust it some. So here's my brush. I want to make my scattering turn up. So I'm going to add in some count and some scatter. All right, not too much. All right, so that I have a, a dense brush, but there's a lot of roughness to the edge. Okay. Then, when I go to make a dot, I'm actually going to try and draw it really tiny, all right? And I'm going to use red first. So I'm going to pick up some of that dark red. And I'm just going to see what happens when I make a little dot here. Let's see how it looks. All right. Yeah, I think that red's not going to be dark enough. So I'm going to definitely make it a deeper red. And let's see. Yeah, maybe something like that. So let's see how that works. So it's a little darker version of the red. And some of these are kind of tall as if they're being stretched along the plant, right? So I'm going to have that color and then I'm going to have some black, but I don't want it to be an exact black, so I'm going to just make it really dark. Okay. So something like that. So that's basically what the a standard spec will look like, something like that. Now what I want to do is make that standard spec kind of do some different things. So I'm going to switch to my uh, finger tool here and make it a much smaller, probably normal brush here, and make it much smaller. Yeah. And because I don't want it to blur much, I want it to have a pretty high strength. Okay, so 75% strength. And what I'm going to do here is just see if I can kind of push it and make it make it work how I want it to. You see how that works? So there's a little bit of, of pushing to it, right? And that basically is what I'm going to do for each of my dots. So I'm going to paint it, and then I'm going to use my finger tool on it. So let's go ahead and just knock out some dots in this section here. So let's take my paintbrush, and we'll switch back. You can hit X to switch that back if you don't want to tap the little uh, double arrow. It's just a little trick. And I'm going to paint some red here, put some black on it. Then I'm going to switch over, do another one maybe over here, put some black on it. All right. And then it's all about making it push in, make it smaller. Something like that and like that. So I'm getting little tiny little specks. Okay, so you work your area and then give it some specs. Uh, let's see, I think I'm going to need to make that even bigger. So let's make it bigger. And we'll switch back to the red. Make it a little bigger. Some more black on there, or dark, whatever that is. And use my little finger tool again. So parts of it should be clear and then other parts should definitely be... Uh, like odd shaped you know when you have a a brush that is um, round and with a strength of 75 for your finger you can actually stretch the pixels pretty far so now let's say I want to do one of these over here I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do that I'm just gonna quickly uh, switch back to my paintbrush and make a blob make it yeah nice and big and round and then I'm gonna add the dark to it see how that looks nice and big and round and then I just need to get some of that highlight in there so I'm gonna switch to a white or something light let's see something maybe yeah like that and 
I'm going to switch back to my traditional brush. But before I do that, I probably should save this brush. So I'm going to make sure I save it. And so I have a that one, that one down there. So I'm going to go back to that traditional brush. And I'm just going to tap. Let's see. Something like that. Um, and then I can use the um, little finger tool to just shape it up, make it stretch or extend however I need it to. And there we go. And that's how you'd make one of those. That one might be too big. I think it's a pretty big spec. Uh, anyway, it's okay if it's too big. I can always shrink it. So that's how you make those little textured dots. And I'll be making a bunch of those as well.